You've probably watched a few of my videos where I talk about how sleep promotes remyelination. I was talking to Angela during one of our chats the other day and was surprised to learn from her that many recommend staying away from ashwagandha as an MS patient. Ashwagandha is an evergreen shrub that grows in Asia and Africa. It is commonly used for stress and increases the sense of calm during sleep. Well, I took it, not knowing what I was doing while I was traveling. I take a few supplements before bed to enhance my sleep quality. To save space in my luggage, I wanted to find a supplement that combined all of my supplements into one. I found one what there was one ingredient that I'd never taken before, ashwagandha. To my shock, I clocked in eight plus hours most nights during the trip, even scoring a few nine plus. I am no slouch when it comes to this sleep game, but this was next level. Hey, it's Dave. After returning home and craving answers, I put on my research and thinking cap. There is a simple answer to why it's not recommended for those of us with MS. That's because it's an immune stimulator and booster, which could worsen MS symptoms, but only in some cases. I'll get to that in a minute. I found papers that affirm that it can increase the number of T cells, which are part of the immune system. At first glance, that alone might sound like it was a deal breaker, but I see it differently. And it's not my, my opinion. It's scientific fact. In MS, the presence of autoreactive immune cells contribute to the dysregulation of the immune system. And that's the key word, autoreactive. Ours is not a typical immune system, but one filled with many destructive freaks. I manage my immune system effectively but I'm not you. So consider this video carefully. My confidence primarily comes from me owning an ultraviolet B lamp. I use it every other day. It can suppress autoreactive T cells and modulate dendritic cells leading to a decreased activation of autoreactive T cells. It can also induce immune tolerance by affecting the function of said dendritic cells. UVB light has been shown to influence the production of anti-inflammatory cytokines in leukin 10 and transforming growth factor beta. These are great because they can, they cause those autoreactive cells to undergo apoptosis. In other words, it makes the destructive freaks commit suicide before they can harm us. I take further steps to stay safe. Stress is known to exacerbate MS symptoms and increase the risk of flare-ups. Well, I already live in a stress-free state of mind. It's just been my natural way. It's been that way since I was born. It's the way I've been always been. Ashwagandha's adaptogenic properties help the body adapt to stressors and maintain homeostasis, which is particularly beneficial for those of us with MS. 
by supporting the, the body's stress response, ashwagandhas help reduce the negative impact of stress, control over MS progression. Another thing I like is ashwagandha's neuroprotective effects. Studies have shown that ashwagandhas can protect nerve cells from damage by oxidative stress and promote nerve regeneration. Both are critical mechanisms that promote remyelination. Another aspect I talk about all the time is chronic inflammation. We all know it drives MS, damaging the myelin sheath and nerve fibers. By reducing chronic inflammation, ashwagandha helps slow down MS. So, do you still suffer from fatigue? Ashwagandha can help with that. By improving energy levels, ashwagandha enhances the daily functioning and quality of life. I don't know personally, I'm always happy. However, they say that ashwagandha has the potential to modulate mood. Depression and anxiety are prevalent among MS patients and they impact emotional well-being. Well, ashwagandha's adaptogenic properties may help reduce stress and improve mood, thereby addressing the specific psychological aspects of MS that we battle daily. The ashwagandha supplement I take is made by Doublewood. I think ashwagandha is an upcoming supplement. Research on its safety for MS is ongoing, but while there may be varying opinions on the safety of it and in MS, I stated my case and I show that it can not only boost your sleep duration, but also improve the quality of your sleep. I take two castles almost every night. I take a couple days off here and there just so it did uh, ashwagandha doesn't lose its potency but have you taken ashwagandha before are you scared to take it because you have ms and you've heard what i've already stated are you taking it is your if you are taking it is your sleep quality like mine long and fantastic let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.